foolish shockwave think he can kill me? I am Brudgeon. I live forever. Hello, my faithful nerdettes and neckbeards, and welcome to Pie Crumb Studios at youtube.com slash piecrumbs. I'm James, better known as Spider with a Pie, and today we're looking at Bludgeon. He's a Voyager class from Revenge of the Fallen. I know this is a little bit older of a figure, but, uh, you know, I'm doing tanks this week. And this is one of my favorite tank transformers. I actually hunted this guy down when he was being released. And I was so excited when we finally got one in at work. And the same night, we also got a Matt Trekker from the G.I. Joe line. And that was pretty cool. But uh, enough about that. We're talking about Bludgeon. Because he's awesome. He's a pretty cool looking tank. His little machine gun swivels. This little bendy. A little limp. We can give him some Viagra or something. I like that the turret rotates. Because that's good for being able to shoot things that are not directly in front of you. Got rubber treads. Well, not all of it's rubber. This part is hard plastic. Uh, the front and back of each are rubber. Not a whole lot of robot showing in tank mode, which again is more bonus points. We'll get into the transformation of this guy. First thing I like to do is rotate that out of the way. Or not really out of the way, but just to the side. We'll, uh, Pull these panels here. Kind of, oh, undo his uh, his treads first. That would probably help. Now, just pop these loose. And we're gonna spin this back around. It might be better this way. Come on, you bastard! Yeah, everything fits together really well on this figure, so. Takes, might take a little finagling. So this part all just rotates down. He's got a little flappies there. Lift this part up, just give you a little bit of clearance. Now we're gonna turn the turret to the side. Yeah, we are. Pull up the butt flap. These uh, fold down to the back there. They'll become kind of uh, armor plating in his robot mode. You can flip these down. Just adds a little bit of flair to the back of what will be his leg. And gives him a little bit more range of motion in the knee. Click those together. Uh, which way? This way. Pop his foots out. The top part, well, we'll get the arms out first. These just pull down to the side like that. That just slides down. Don't worry, it's pretty sturdy. It's actually kind of hard to get that to lock into place. Get in there. There we go. It has a little bit of automorph here when you pull this down. Uh, his swords can go into these locations. I know, you know, where's his swords? I don't see any swords. We'll get to that. If you want, you can fold these up a little bit out of the way. As you saw in the pictures at the beginning, I, I don't tend to do that, but I'm just going to show you that you can. And we'll leave them that way for the remainder of this review. The arms will rotate. Well, they're not arms yet. Now they're arms. There we go. And do the same. 
on the other side. Flip his hands out. Now I filed these pegs down a little bit. Go ahead and get this out of the way. You have this little tab right here on the back of his hand. I filed them ever so slightly because I wanted him to be able to do a Hadouken and it also allowed him to uh, do a better job of holding his main sword with both hands. Flip those down. Here in the barrel of the tank. A uh, little bendy rubber sword. I think Rob Liefeld designed it. That can go in here. If there's not a turret in the way. There we go. And this is really cool. The uh, turret of the top opens up. And that pops up. Look at that. Another sword. His Tonto. Not to be confused with Johnny Depp's character in the new Lone Ranger movie, which I heard is bad. And they don't even credit Army Hammer in the new trailers for it, and that pisses me off. I mean, he's the star character. Don't fucking only credit Johnny Depp. Anyways, that goes there. And he can hold both of them in his hands. And you can do whatever you want with the turret while, it's, while he's in robot mode. I like to kind of do that. Or off to the side and pretend like, you know, it looks like a, a samurai banner. Because this guy, guy is a badass skull face samurai. Look at him. He's metal. I mean, he's plastic, but he's totally metal in the verb or adjective sense. I know my parts of speech, motherfucker. Hi. He's got lots of joints in his arm. This rotates. This rotates. He's got an elbow hinge. He's actually got double jointed elbows. You see right here. Because of the transformation, collapsing the arms down. The hands don't really do anything. They can do like that. Like, oh, stop it. Behave. But like I said, uh, I filed those down for the Hadoken pose. What else has he got going? No waist rotation, which is kind of sad. But you don't need it. He's got ratcheting hips. That swivels around. I like the... Uh, it kind of pegs in with a notch here. So when you turn the calf, you see the gears slash muscles, whatever you want to call them, moving around. I thought that was really cool. Ratchet in the knee. And also ratchet in the ankle. He's got his little dew claw thing right here. That helps aid in balance a little bit. But this more so than anything else. His little back armors. And you got a really wicked looking transformer. I do say so myself. Um, because this is an older figure, it's going to be harder to find. You're not going to be able to find it at all on the primary market. You're going to have to resort to eBay or the like of that. Or hope that they do a Generations re-release. Which, as awesome as a figure as this is, I really think he should constantly be on the market in some form or fashion. But that's just me. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. That covers it for this review. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that like button. And if you're not a subscriber yet, you probably should subscribe. Or follow me on Twitter at S314DER, where you'll get the latest news and happenings in my life. Whenever I'm talking about toys, when I post some pictures on my Instagram or what have you. And if you really, really liked the video, and I really hope you did, think about clicking that support button in the information section below. There you'll be directed to my main site's donation page. Every donation will go directly back into the channel, whether it be in the form of keeping the PC up and running, getting new figures to review, or buying giveaways, because I'd really like to do regular giveaways here on the channel and, you know, give back to the fans. You give up a soda a week, and you can help me keep running the website, and you'll get a link to your channel or Twitch or what have you for the next week's worth of videos for every donation. 
And that link will show up in the information section of every video I do for the week following the donation receipt. Until next time, be safe, take it easy. I'm out. Oh, yeah, look. Feels so good rubbing my nipples. <laughs>